My chocolate hot cross bun bread and butter pudding recipe may be a nightmare to say really fast five times in a row, but it's really easy to make. It took me about 10 takes to say chocolate hot cross bun bread and butter pudding. Hi everyone, it's Tasha. Welcome to another recipe video. And today I'm going to make myself say it again. We are going to be making chocolate hot cross bun bread and butter pudding. This is another great quick and easy Easter recipe and it can be a crowd pleaser too if you have a few people over you can double the recipe. The one I'm going to make is going to serve four and it's kind of a bung it all in one baking tray, bake it and then serve it at the table kind of deal. This will give you a super rich luxurious chocolatey pudding. For this particular recipe I gave the whole hog and I use actual chocolate hot cross buns. A few different supermarkets here do their own versions but if you like you can use regular hot cross buns or any of the sweet variety really. Some supermarkets markets do savoury ones so I would avoid that for this particular recipe but if you can get your hands on chocolate hot cross buns definitely use those for this recipe. We're going to be using real chocolate in the soaking custard and instead of white sugar we're going to be using light muscovado sugar which gives a little bit of a caramelly edge. We're also going to be using a tiny bit of rum just to elevate things a bit but if you don't want to add the alcohol into it then you can substitute that with coffee and if you don't like coffee or alcohol then you can actually Put a little bit of hot chocolate in, like drinking chocolate. Make yourself a cup of hot chocolate, put a couple of tablespoons in that. But I would really recommend a little bit of rum or a little bit of coffee. Natural chocolate bread and butter pudding itself takes minutes to whip up and not that long to bake either. You are going to need a spare hour though just to let it all soak in before you bake it. But in that hour you can wander off to do whatever you like. It's a really chilled out recipe. So with all that said, let's go to the kitchen and see how it's done. Now of course you can't have hot cross bun bread and butter pudding without hot cross buns. Here I have four chocolate ones. You can actually use the regular ones for here, just any sweet hot cross bun. Don't use the cheesy ones, that might be weird. But I actually have the chocolate ones here. These are from Marks and Spencers to make them extra chocolatey. And I've also done you the favour of pre-slicing them in advance. So take your hot cross buns, whoa, it's hard to say that over and over again. It's losing all meaning. And we're going to slice them sandwich ways like this so just take them and slice them each in half and i've also very generously buttered an eight by eight inch square baking tin and over here we're going to prepare our soaking mixture here i have 50 grams of unsalted butter i'm going to pour in 300 milliliters of double cream and i'm going to heat this up until the butter is melted and it's lightly steaming Oh, now it's starting to bubble. I'm going to turn the heat off and I'm going to dump in 100 grams of dark chocolate. This is around 70% cookie solids. I'm going to give it a good mix. Oh, lovely thick chocolate sauce. Right, let's take this off the heat completely now. Let's pop it on here because it's still a little bit hot but we're going to cool it down with 100 milliliters of milk. Two tablespoons of dark spiced rum. You can actually substitute this for coffee if you don't want any alcohol in it. And about a teaspoonful of vanilla extract. Still a bit warm at the moment, so while it's still warm, I'm also going to add in 80 grams of light muscovado sugar. And now that the sugar is all dissolved and this is a lot cooler, it's only a little bit warm, we're going to whisk in two eggs. And this is our wonderful soaking mixture. So if you remember our cut hot cross buns, we're going to take each one, give it a good dunk into our chocolate mixture and we're going to layer them in our waiting tin. Now we're going to pour all the rest of this mixture into the tin. Get every last drop in there, don't be stingy. Now we're going to actually leave it for an hour because we want all of that to soak in. So I'm going to cover it so that no fluff gets on top of it. And we're just going to literally leave it here at room temperature for an hour. 
When your hour is pretty much up, we're going to preheat the oven to 180 degrees C. Now, as you can see, our pudding is soaked, but we've still got plenty of liquid. It has gone down a bit. You can see the, the chocolate mark has gone down a bit, which means all of those hot cross buns have soaked up quite a lot. That is perfect. And once your oven has come up to temperature, we're going to bake this for half an hour. That's 30 minutes. Phew, and we are done. That was half an hour. It is absolutely bubbling hot, as you can probably hear. So we're going to let this cool down for five to 10 minutes and then we're going to serve it. Well, doesn't that look gorgeous? Let's dig in. I'm going to pick this one. Oh, it came up beautifully. Let's uh, not forget that chocolatey custard too. Wow, I made the perfect cut. Just look at that chocolatey inside. Goodness me, look at the inside of that bun as well. Super chocolatey and moist. If only you could smell this through the screen. So chocolatey. I'm going to take a bite, but um, maybe half the amount that's currently on my spoon. I just did that for the thumbnail. Cheers. Quite honestly, I don't think I ever want any other kind of chocolate pudding ever again. This is wonderful. It may look a bit like a mess, but oh my gosh, it's the best combination of mess. You've got the spongy breadiness of the actual bun itself that's soaked up all of that custard. You've got the extra custard, which settled around when it baked, which is really silky and smooth. You have a little bit of crunch from the top from where it baked, open in the oven, and an intense chocolatey flavour. We've only added just enough rum to give it a little bit of elevation in the taste. So there's just a little hint of kind of a smokiness in there, but it's not like hit you in the face rummy. If you want a punchier rum flavour, then I would double the amount of rum, so like four tablespoons full of rum, and then I would maybe omit the vanilla, so you're just focusing on the rum flavour. But for me, this is absolutely perfect. This would also be lovely with some vanilla ice cream or maybe a drizzling of extra cream. Add some berries maybe, but I am happy with it the way it is. So there you go, oh, I have to say it again. Chocolate hot cross bun bread and butter pudding. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed today's recipe video and I hope you'll join me next Wednesday for my next one. Get the full written recipe on my blog tashcakes.com, follow me on Instagram, I am tashcakes.tastes and find me on TikTok too, I'm tashcakes there too, but my handle is food and slow motion. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more. Give this video a like if you liked it to help other people find it. Comment down below if you'd like me to make anything in particular and I will see you all next time. Be good, be nice and have a good week. Now of course you can't have hot cross buns without hot cross buns. Wait what?